This is Mr. Masonette, and today we're going to work on prime factorization and also identifying the difference between a factor and a prime factor. To do this, we're going to start with the number 24. And we're going to identify all of the factors of 24. Now remember, a factor is simply a number that can be equally divided into another number. The factors of 24 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, and 24. Now, all of these numbers can be divided equally into 24 with no remainder. So that is what makes these numbers all factors of 24. Now, out of all of these factors, some of them are prime factors. A prime factor, or a prime number, is a number that can be produced by multiplying only the number 1 by itself to make that number. So, 2 is a prime factor of 24, and so is the number 3. To produce the number 3, you can only do 1 times 3 to make it. Now, the number 4 would be considered a composite number. You can do 1 times 4 to produce 4, but you can also multiply 2 times 2 to make 4. And when you can do a combination of things to produce the number, it is a composite number. So all of these numbers here are composite factors of 24. Now all of these composite factors can actually be produced by a combination of multiplying the prime factors. For example, let's take a look at the number 4. To produce 4, we can multiply the prime number 2 by itself. So 2 times 2 makes 4. To produce 6, we can multiply the prime numbers 2 and 3. To produce 8, we can multiply 2 times 2, which is 4, times 2, which is 8. To produce 12, we can multiply 2 times 2, which is 4, times 3, which is 12. And for the number 24, we can multiply 2 times 2, which is 4, times 2, which is 8, times 3, which is 24. So we would call this right here the prime factorization of 24. And we can also come up with this prime factorization by doing a factor tree. So what we do is we just write the number in question, which in this case is 24, and we draw this little upside down V here because we are branching out or breaking this number down into factors that produces 24. We can start off by writing 2 times 12 or 3 times 8 or 4 times 6. I'm going to start with 4 times 6. And if the resulting factors are composite numbers, we can break those down further into prime numbers. And 4 can be produced by making or multiplying 2 times 2, and 6 can be produced by multiplying 2 times 3. So we have broken 24 down into all prime numbers. If we multiply 2 times 2 times 2 times 3, that would give us a product of 24, showing that any composite number can be produced by multiplying a combination of prime numbers. Let's try another example. This time, let's take a look at the number 36. All of the factors of 36 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 9, 12, 18, and 36. The only prime factors of 36 are the numbers 2 and 3, which means that they can be used to produce all of the composite factors of 36. For the number 4, we have 2 times 2. For the number 6, we can multiply 2 times 3. For the number 9, we can multiply 3 times 3. For the number 12, we can multiply 
2 times 2 times 3. For the number 18, we can multiply 2 times 3 times 3. And for the number 36, we can multiply 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. So remember, all composite factors of a number can be produced by a combination of the prime factors of that number. So the prime factorization of 36 is 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. And this is what that would look like by doing a factor tree. So for 36, we can start by multiplying 6 times 6. And then we can break 6 down into 2 times 3. And of course, we have another 6, so we just write 2 times 3 another time. So 2 times 3 times 2 times 3 would produce 36. We can also express our answer in exponential notation. So if you take a look, we have two twos in our answer. So we can express that as 2 to the second power. And we also have a pair of threes. So we can write this as 2 to the second power times 3 to the second power. So this represents the prime factorization of 36. So remember, all composite factors of a number can be produced by multiplying a combination of all of its prime factors. And this just means that every composite number can be broken down into all primes.